Good morning. This is the video for 6112 Teresa Lane and Rowlett. They are asking 590. Uh, it is a four bedroom, three bath, single story, almost 3,000 square foot. Built in 2014. It does have a pool. Um, just to give you an idea of the neighborhood, you are on a little bit of a hill. You can see that we're kind of because as we go down the other way of the street it's also going down over that way looks like we've got correct drainage you always want drainage to kind of go down on both sides of your house they've got good landscaping um, all the grass actually should be dead right now um, it's just it dies for the winter. It should be coming back any day now, but give it another week. So we've got a nice brick out front, nice stone. Not seeing any cracks or problems with it. Um, there actually should be like wheat holes at the bottom, which are nice. Those little holes for drainage. And as we go up, yeah, everything's looking pretty clean. And then there's usually like little problems here. I'm not seeing any. Um, things that normally call out. And it looks like we've got some security cameras up at the top. Yeah, really clean. Um, I do love this front door. It is a nice solid front door great details on it nice solid all right so as we come in we've got this grand entrance um so when you come in you can see like the tray ceilings and this is the close-up of the floor. Let me turn on some more lights. It is like an engineered hardwood. And when you go to the left, we're gonna get to the office. It is hardwired for ceiling fan in here, but they didn't put one in. Um, again, continuing the flooring in here, nice um, details with large baseboards, they did do doors in here, I don't know why there's an extra outlet up there when clearly they put the seal, the TV a little up. Um, if we go to the right, we've got cabinets above, kind of a mud room entrance. It's really nice and high. Ah, oh, their drawers. Nice. This is what you want to see on a mud room. Not only are they drawers for like shoes and things, but they actually don't look like they've been abused. Granted, they need some touch-up paint and things just because they don't have handles on them, but they're in great shape. So you've got your laundry room here, which has this huge sink. Washer and dryer would go here. Um, this is what the tile looks like. And then behind, actually, just to give you an idea, whenever there's an outlet up above, it's on a different circuit. And that's actually meant for uh, like a washer or a refrigerator or an extra freezer, which is great. So this is, oh, this is the second car garage. So they're letting you know that this is the pool fence, which is great. Oh, and they have it numbered so you know which order it goes in. They've got extra screens extra brick materials. I don't know why they didn't note that that's what's staying. Okay, 
much more sense. All right, so now we have bedroom number one. This actually does have a ceiling fan and a little bit of a vaulted ceiling. Carpets are in great condition. Um, it's obviously not a kid's room, so I'm not terribly worried, even though it does look staged. Um, I'm not actually thinking a child lived in this room. It's definitely not something that I think, oh gee, there was a child living in this tan bedroom. All right, so bedroom number two. Um, again, they have it staged. It has a ceiling fan, very identical in size. identical closet linen closet to share and then they would share this bathroom like I said um, things that you would know like if they were actually you know, thrashing on the house, especially not having like any door poles, you would know if they were hard on the house just based off of those things. And if they were hard on the house, this would be destroyed. This would be destroyed because even on a five, six year old house, you would see spills and things like that that have just worn out. Um, so we've got a full shower, um, bath combo, they've tiled up, just the standard shower head that came with it, but great condition, not seeing any red flags, anything that's like, ugh. So we're back to the main entry. What I'm gonna do is go down this left hallway and we've got another full bathroom here. Let's take a look underneath. Again, not even a drip of a, a sink or a spill of a, an extra bottle. Um, just to give you an idea, I don't know how old your, your sink is, but these are actually newer. You just pull that and push it in. That actually turns off the water instead of turning and turning. Oh, they put in an extra bar. And then this one has, this one's definitely a little bit bigger of a bedroom. Just maybe a, an extra two feet. And the closet's a little bit different shape, not necessarily bigger. Oh, this is the garage that they're saying. This stuff is staying, but we've got a box of chemicals and I don't know, a ladder. Power washer, a lawnmower. Lower yard tools, the battery for the lawnmower, some chairs. Okay. That's different. <laughs> okay, so we come back over here. Oh, wow. So we've got our coat closet. Just to give you an idea, this is like 
um, <laughs> like a really look large, oh sorry, I stumbled, but it's like really deep coat closet. Like it is four foot, five foot back. Like if I stretch my arm, it's a good five foot back. I'm not sure why it is so deep. Huh. And there's a light switch in there, which doesn't go to anything that I can tell. So we'll have to play with that and figure that out. Okay, this would be your formal dining. I like that they were just like, well, we don't do formal dining, so let's turn it into a pool table. Um, like I said, do whatever works for you. And over here, you've got your pantry, which is really nice, fabulous size. See, that goes around. And then you've got this kind of like butler's pantry. So you could do, a, you know, if you're into a bar or a coffee bar or whatever suits your fancy. Again, they've got the shelves in there, but nothing looks like it's been touched or lived in. And this is the tile behind here. And then, so like that would have been your bulk pantry because you have this other pantry that is also like your daily consumables. I mean, this is a really large kitchen and I'm just gonna turn on some lights and then I'll kind of let you get it view from this corner of just how big this space is. Yeah. So some of the cabinets, this is going to be your trash bin. See, like finally some wear and tear, but on, even on a kitchen, that is nothing. And we've got a little bit of wear and tear here, but they've got a nice liner under here. shape. It's for sure a small gas stove in comparison to what they probably could have put in here. You've got the double oven, room for a nice big refrigerator. desk over on the side. This is the wood woodwork over on the fireplace. Really nicely done. I mean, they have upgraded this house to the extreme. Um, there is like one little spot that just needs a little bit of caulking or like cement filling, but. All right, so when we go down over here, it's gonna be your master. You walk in and there's me. Dual sinks. Wow, this 
closet goes on for days. Let's see if I can get my camera to adjust. All right, so closet bars, you've got shelving. Yeah, that's a great closet. This would be his side. <laughs> yeah, nice and clean. shower has a seat kind of a basic shower head I would definitely put in something nicer for the condition of it and then you still have a linen closet for towels and um, the nice thing is the master actually gets a view of the pool in the backyard very serene and with nothing behind you and you can see the angle of the backyard um you're really getting a lot of privacy out back just because the backyard goes up it's a great space in here nice angles i'm not seeing any like cracks or problems with like the carpet is in perfect condition and the only place you're getting any type of carpet is in the bedrooms so you've got this door here and it has the built-in blinds so you're not having to fool with anything in there all right so when you go outside you've got a nice ceiling fan it is hardwired for speakers It's a good size pool. I like that they did the waterfalls. It'll keep the temperature lower. It's probably only six feet deep. That's about as standard size. Um, as you can tell, there's a little bit of a slope. Um, I will say the fence, the only problem is it's the back is steel post, which is what we want to see. The right is not. The neighbors on the right do have a pool. They've got a nice patio cover, so you can probably talk to them and say, hey, let's let's upgrade the fence post. I'm just gonna open the fence so you can see how, how far away you are from that school. So you understand like where you're next. I'm not going to really be hearing that school. And that's the neighbor's yard. They've got a couple palm trees that look like they might have died. And then you've got a couple trees back here that give you some nice privacy also. Those will fill in. This one looks like it's dead, dead. Looks like the neighbor this way also has a pool. Let's poke over there, friends.
Um, I'm just gonna drive through like this little section. Just so just at the end of the street, there's actually this little park. And then if we go out. Just kind of wanted you to see like this is what makes this like such a desirable area um, just because they've added in all of these green spaces so it's not just about like the house it's really that they've added in like look another green space like they're not just trying to pack in in this neighborhood every square inch of house they've just added in another green space um, which I think is great. Um, and like your little neighborhood has a ton of um, space in between the houses. This kind of went into like a separate little neighborhood, but they obviously put the houses a little closer, but the house that you were looking at was kind of right in between those. but I'm gonna drive back over so you can see the entrance and see that elementary school and the actual, sorry if I can get my camera to zoom back through. And see the actual um, walking trails that are like right outside your, your thing. There's a community um, park so that'll be nice to see that, you know, you can take your dogs over there and there's like people fishing and hanging out. Also, there's like four people in your neighborhood that are putting in, like there's one putting in a pool. Like people are really investing into this neighborhood. You'll see a lot of people getting solar. People do not put in solar unless they plan on staying. So this isn't a high turnover neighborhood. And you'll see like not every house looks the same there are several builders in this neighborhood so you're not gonna be like oh like every fourth house looks identical to mine so this is that elementary school so your house would be farther back there but you know they're not necessarily coming out to your like your space. So this is that elementary school. And then on the right, you've got this kind of starting of a park, kind of marshlands right here. Which is actually, I believe, owned by your development. So they've got like the Lake Hill sign. But over here on the left, which is absolutely gorgeous, I'm gonna flip a view so you can see it, is all that water and people fishing, and there's like trails through it where. pulled over and they're just walking their dogs and hanging out. And that's, all of this is still the same park. So people are really able to benefit from it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, it's Springfield Park. Home of the Rollet RC Flying Club. You might even like Google search images of this park. It's really beautiful. Like, and their grass is all green because it's it's mostly weeds. Let's be realistic. That's why parks are.
but just absolute trails over here and you can walk your dogs and yeah there's like guys fishing it's catch and release you don't want to eat that fish but supposedly it's good I'm not a fan of eating those and you'll see a lot of like families out here Let me zoom in It's not as pretty in this video, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So that's the video. Hope you like it.